although it, it can be, it's got covered in flower buds. Some of them have opened. This is a buckthorn. Um, it's had several names, so Bumelia lysioides, Cider Roxalon lysioides, that's it. Oh, oh excuse me, up there, too. It's called buckthorn, and it has some thorns. Also, not, not always found on rock outcrops. There's none of this at Arabia, for example, but it does grow on Stone Mountain. This is a plant called wafer ash. It's not a true ash. It's actually in the citrus family. It's related to oranges and pineapples, although it's called wafer ash because the fruit is a little flattened wafer-like thing. It's also called hop tree, and apparently it has been used as a substitute for hops, at least during scarcity, like during times of war and whatnot. Uh, hop tree, uh, there's a giant swallowtail butterfly lays eggs only on members of the citrus family, and the, the fact that it grows here on this mountain means there could be giant swallowtails. Wafer ash. And all of this stuff is a, is a native shrub related to one of our worst weeds. We've got a problem with Chinese privet all over Georgia. But this is a native relative of it. On uh, most of the rock outcrops, the Chinese privet has eliminated this. It's outcompeted it. But because this has not been disturbed by quarrying or otherwise, it has very little in the way of exotic plants on it. Um, let's hope to keep it that way. So it's just a native? native this is a native. One of the ways it differs from the privet is that this is the deciduous. It drops its leaves in the winter. And they also have fine little teeth on the edges. Um, otherwise, it, it looks quite a bit like Chinese privet. One of the dif another difference, though, is this bark. It's much lighter. And it gets covered with lichen. You know, this is not the bark itself. This is a coating of white and sometimes gray-green lichen. And what is it called? Um, Glade Forestera or, or Rock Privet. Uh, I call it Forestera ligustrina but different books have different names for it.